Welcome to Mice and Folklore. This time we won't talk about the mice and folklore of a single creature in particular, but we will go and see what the yukai is. Interest in Japanese yukai culture has exploded in recent years. Painting and prints of shape-shifting animals, water spirits and city girls are emerging at exhibitions all around Japan and across the world. You can find influence and references everywhere from museum halls to renowned Ghibli films like My Neighbor Totoro and Spirited Away. But what is a yukai? Where are they from? And what do they do? Yukai are a class of supernatural monsters, spirits and demons from Japanese folklore. The word yukai is made up of the kanji for bewitching, attractive, calamity, and spectre, apparition, mystery, suspicious. Yukai range eclectically from the malevolent to the mischievous, or occasionally bring good fortune to those who encounter them. Often they possess animal features, such as the kappa, which is similar to a turtle, or the tenga, which has wings. Other times they can appear mostly human. Some look like inanimate objects and others have no discernible shape. Yuka usually have a spiritual supernatural power, with shape-shifting being one of the most common. The concept of Yuka their causes and phenomena related to them varies greatly throughout Japanese culture and historical periods. Typically, the older the time period, the higher the number of phenomena deemed to be supernatural and the result of UK. According to Japanese ideas of animism, spirit-like entities were believed to reside in all things, including natural phenomena and objects. Such spirits possessed emotions and personalities. Useful spirits were known as Niji Mitama, who brought good fortune. Violent spirits, known as Aramitama, brought ill fortune, such as illness and natural disasters. Another type of spirit was considered to be Yuka. One's ancestors and particularly respected departed elders could also be deemed to be Niji Mitama, accruing status as protective spirits who brought fortune to those who worshipped them, animals, Objects and natural features or phenomena were also venerated as Niji Mitima were propitiated as a remitima depending on the area. Over time, phenomena and events thought to be supernatural became fewer and fewer, with the depictions of UK and picture scrolls and paintings beginning to standardize, evolving more into caricatures than fearsome spiritual entities. Elements of the tales and legends surrounding Yoka began to be depicted in public entertainment beginning as early as the Middle Ages in Japan. During and following the Edo period, the mythology and lore of Yuka became more defined and formalized. There are a wide variety of Yuka in Japanese folklore. In general, Yuka is, is a broad term and can be used to encompass virtually all monsters and supernatural beings, even including creatures from European folklore on occasion. Many indigenous Japanese animals are thought to have magical qualities. Most of these are hangi, which are shapeshifters or bake, bake mono, that often appear in human form, mostly women. One of the most well-known aspects of Japanese folklore is the oni, which has traits of demons, and actors who usually depicted with red, blue, brown or black skin, two horns on its head, a wide mouth filled with fangs, and wearing nothing but a tiger skin loin cloth. It often carries an iron canabo or a gant sword, only are depicted as evil. A goblin from Japanese mythology that has several supernatural powers and skills in martial arts, the Tenga were originally extremely dangerous demons and enemies of Buddhism. Over centuries, their behavior changed from spirits of the damned to active defenders of Dorma. Tsukumagami are an entire class of yukon a bake comprising ordinary household items that have come to life on the 100th anniversary of their birthday. There are a large number of yukai who are originally ordinary human beings, transformed into something horrific and grotesque usually during an extremely emotional state. Women suffering from intense jealousy, for example, were thought to transform into the female only represented by Halley Mass. The ancient times were a period abundant in literature and folktales mentioning and explaining Yoko. Various reports expositioned on legends from the ancient past and mentions of Oni, Orochi, among other kinds of mysterious phenomena can already be seen in them. 
In the Heian period, collections of stories about yoga and end of the supernatural phenomena were published in multiple volumes. Medieval Japan was a time period where publications of visual depictions of yoga started to appear. While there were religious publications, there were also publications for entertainment. In this period started the trend where yoi became more and more seen as subjects of entertainment. For examples, tales of UK extermination could be said to be a result of emphasizing the superior status of human society over UK. Before the Edo period, there were plenty of interpretations about what the UK were that were classified as kappa, but because of books and publishing, it was in this era that the technology of the printing press and publication was first started to be widely used for the publishing culture developed. The notion of Kappa became insured to what is now the modern notion of Kappa, also including other kinds of publications. Other than UK born from folk legend, there were also many invented UK that were created through puns or word plays. In this period, toys and games frequently used UK as characters. Thus, with the development of a publishing culture, UK depictions that were treasured in temples and shrines were able to become something more familiar to people, and it is thought that this is the reason that even though UK were originally things to be feared, they have then become characters that people feel close to. In Shoah period UK are spoken about in legends in various forms, but traditional oral storytelling by the elders and the older people is rare, and regionally unique situations and background in oral storytelling are not easily conveyed. Furthermore, in the suburbs, and other regions, even when living in a primary sector environment, there are tools that are no longer seen, and there exist UK that are reminiscent of old lifestyles. As a result, even for those born in the first decade of the Shoah period 1925-1935, except for some who were evacuated to the countryside, they would feel that those things that become UK are not familiar and not very understandable. The modernization of society has had a negative effect on the place of UK in classical Japanese culture. On the other hand, the UK introduced through mass media are not limited to only those that come from classical sources like folklore, and just as in the Edo period, new fictional UK continued to be invented. During the 1970s, many books were published which introduced UK through encyclopedias, illustrated reference books, and dictionaries as a part of children's horror books, but along with the UK that come from classics like folklore. In popular culture UK is often referred to as a Japanese spirit or an East Asian ghost, like the Hanako Sen legend or the story of the sleep-mouthed girl, both of which hail from Japanese legend, UK can also be derived as something strange or unusual. Thanks for watching the video. Sign up and leave a like.